Allow me to pose a question you should all immediately ponder. What might the following movies and TV programs all have in common? Twin Peaks, Race Ahead, The Office, Tremors, Little House on the Prairie, The Rockford Files, Eight is Enough, and Bonanza. All of those titles would seem to contain the letter E, sir. Uh, Why, well, yes, they do, except Bonanza. But that title contains the letter Z, while the others do not. Onward. What these films truly do have in common is that they all contain the lovely and talented actress Charlotte Stewart. Welcome to Creature Features. The understated moppet to my left is my darling housemate, Tangella. The man with the dry acumen for isolating bowels would be my overstated butler, Mr. Livingston. And I, of course, am your unremarkable host, Vincent Van Dahl. The purpose for my mentioning Charlotte Stewart during the commencement is on account of the fact that we'll be joined shortly by Miss Stewart in person. This beacon of screens both small and large shall regale us with tales about the many films she's adorned, as well as offer some insight to tonight's film, which happens to be Nightmare Castle, an Italian-made movie overdubbed in the Queen's English. As division as that might appear, it is really actually quite well done. Would that be the reason you requested spaghetti for supper? Uh, precisely. So don't go away. We shall return shortly with Charlotte Stewart and Nightmare Castle. Dripping into your mind, like the seconds of a time bomb into a false reality. Yet you crave the creepiest, scariest moments of this realm. These are the chilling stories from the deepest corners of the internet. Join me, your host, Spooky Boo, at www.scarystorytime.com. Get scared. This is your Mac. It's a good Mac. It does those things you like, the music that you love, and most importantly, the work that you do. Sadly though, sometimes it does this. Or this. Or this. But before you do this, try Tech Tool Pro, your one-stop fix-it tool to locate the source of this so that this still remains your things that you love, music that you enjoy, and important work that you do machine. Tech Tool Pro, the most advanced Macintosh repair utility ever. watching online videos like this one. Brushing for two minutes now can save your child from severe tooth pain later. Two minutes, twice a day. They have the time. Hi, I'm Linda Blair. And if you want to be scared, stay tuned on North Bay Television. Coming up. Welcome back to the show. We are joined by the most glamorous guest I think we've had in 54 episodes, and we've only done 54 episodes, Miss Charlotte Stewart. And, uh, you know, I was looking at your resume, and I could not see the entire thing. I, I had to go, like, feed myself because it was just taking too long to look. And you've done everything. You've done I mean, you started in 1961 acting? Uh, actually, 1959. Right, but like television. Television, yeah, you did, right. you did like an episode every week of something. Right, you know, so I'm looking the at the you, Gunsmoke and all these wonderful older shows you mm -hmm. did, Hawaii Five-O. Hawaii Five-O, Bonanza, FBI. And Twin Peaks. Twin You've Peaks. You've been in all three versions. She's been in the first series, uh -huh. the film, uh -huh. and la now the new one. The new one. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're still going on. I know. I know. Well, you know, and it just makes me ask, you know, why in God's name would such an accomplished thespian such as yourself be on such a tragedy of a show such <laughs> as this one? Because I heard you were wonderful. Oh, well. And sexy. 
don't believe everything you hear, <laughs> except that second part. That's debatable. So we're going to talk about you okay. and the stuff you've done and the mm -hmm. stuff you're going to do, because you're not done yet, I take it. Not by a long shot. Not at no. all. And uh, we're also going to watch uh, this film, Nightmare Castle. Have you heard of it? I haven't, but I bet it's wonderful. Well, it, it was an Italian film that was redubbed in English. Is it like vam vampires and things like that? I think it's more to do with ghosts. Oh, OK. But I've not seen it either, so it's going to be a surprise for both of us, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Can't so wait. you stay with us. You stay with us. This is going to be a good one. And we shall be right back after the break. At this rate, you'll destroy all the frogs in the entire county, my dear. I asked you before not to come down to my laboratory while I'm busy with my experiments. Oh. If these animals could speak, they'd have something to say about your tastes. This always happens when you permit yourself to overindulge in your brandy. You are trying to provoke me, but this is not the moment, dear. You're leaving for the Edinburgh Congress with a lot of fanatical good-for-nothings like yourself, I suppose. Don't you ever dare to speak to me like that, Muriel. <laughs> oh, Stephen, you mustn't mind if I care about your going away so frequently. After all, I'm your wife. And I'd like to spend the night with you. Oh, Sunaj, so you saw everything. You even enjoyed it, I presume, didn't you? I am too old for that sort of thing, Baroness. I only wanted to ask the doctor his orders regarding the luggage. It's so late, and it's a long journey. I'm coming now. It's time to go. Already? A storm is threatening this evening. I shall be worried about you. When will you be back? I intend to stay only a couple of days in Edinburgh. You know, I can't bear to be without you very long. Bon voyage, Stephen. Sleep well, Muriel. Yes, I'll go to bed straight away. I'll do my best to dream about you. Why is he so nervous? He's been left in the stable too long. The drive will do him good. Keep your eyes open, David. I entrust my wife's safety to you. <laughs> Those new plants that just arrived today, sir, shall I leave them outside? Put them in the greenhouse, but look after them. They need a lot of water. I'll see to it, sir. Have a good journey.
at last. I thought he would never go, that devil. Oh, poor Stephen. You know I don't like you to talk about him that way. Why? Do you still love him? You're just making a fool of me. <laughs> it's you I love. <laughs> I'm going to rid you of your vulgar ways and replace them with others much more subtle and refined. I don't understand you. It doesn't matter. Not here. Solange's room is too near. Let's go somewhere else. Let's go to the greenhouse. It's nicer there. Guests of the show stay at the Flamingo Conference Resort and Spa in Santa Rosa. Experience your favorite horror, comedy, and science fiction films of the 70s, 80s, and 90s on the big screen with the cult film series at Roxy 14. Double features Thursdays at 7 p.m. Visit us on Facebook for more information. Boswick, you're watching North Bay TV. Buy my underwear. Awesome. Huh? And welcome back to Creature Features. We are still here with the amazing Charlotte Stewart watching 
Nightmare Castle. It's not a bad film. Mm -mm. I mean, it's not necessarily a good film, but you know, normally we show bad films. <laughs> and this one has Barbara Steele, which you've heard of her. Mm -hmm. English, right? Right, British. She, she did an Italian film, but she spoke in English. So can you imagine the confusion? You've got Italian actors speaking in Italian. We're going to get dubbed out later, and a British woman speaking British. <laughs> Do you I really mean, speak British? I mean, you know, right, British English. <laughs> or English British. I don't know. Enough of this movie. Let's talk about you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you've done Twin Peaks, all of them. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. But more importantly, you were in one of David Lynch's first films. His first film, Eraserhead. He was a student at AFI, American Film Institute. And I thought I was signing on for like uh, maybe a week and a half or two weeks or something. It ended up being four years. Four years. <laughs> My goodness. And you'd already done like a million films. I had by done that point. all of, um, oh gosh, all of those ones we talked about Bonanza and Gunsmoke and. All those. We did not even mention Little House on the Prairie. I hadn't done it yet. I did oh, that after Eraserhead, yeah. Oh, I was on Little old? House on the Prairie for four years. Four years, and you were the school teacher. I was the school teacher. Oh, how wonderful. And I would have made you sit in the corner. I would have, gladly, if you were the school teacher. <laughs> you should have seen the school teacher I had. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Not nearly as delightful as you. Thank so. you. But David Lynch is a strange... In real uh, life? David is like a Boy Scout. He is, he is so straight arrow. Um, he's got a great sense of humor, but he's deadly serious, especially about his work. Right. And you know, he's doing carpentry now. Carpentry? Yeah. He's building uh, furniture. Oh, like a hobby? Uh, well, that's what he's doing now. That's what he's spending his time doing. Well, it's not like he needs to do this to make the rent, right? <laughs> no, I don't think he even sells it. I think he just so, enjoys doing it. He has a whole wood shop in his uh, garage. You know, as a man that was once rich, and I imagine you might be a bit rich yourself, if you do anything <laughs> other than your line of work, it is a hobby, even if it's digging ditches. Well, you know what? That's probably true. But um, I so enjoy sewing. I should take that up. I do that every day. You would be great. Look at your, look I, what you're I, I've got a button missing. I could fix it if oh, I knew if how I to sew. if I had only known that. You if would I have come. If I had only known that. Imagine that, Charlotte Stewart fixing my garment <laughs> on the air on Creature Features. This would be a television first. Yep. All right. Well, Probably. let's say we get back to this movie. Okay. And we're going to talk some more about wait. sewing. I can't wait. What's going to happen? I don't know what's going to happen. I haven't seen it. So okay. let's find out. So stick with us. We'll be back after the break. My dear, must come to you only after I've torn from your bodies all the suffering and pain a human being can stand. And you don't know yet how long it takes to die of pain.
A sip. A, ju just a sip. Uh, uh, I'm dying, Stephen. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, you're a monster. the hate I have inside. If you could see it, you would be terrified. You would kill me at once. But even by killing me, you can't free yourself from my hatred, Stephen Arrowsmith. You can kill my body, but I'll never leave you in peace. Never, never! I'm not afraid of the dead. Corpses are destined to rot and fertilize the earth. I can still hurt you while I'm alive, Stephen. You thought you would inherit everything if I died, didn't you? My castle, all my wealth, so that you could continue your dirty experiments. But you've made a tremendous mistake, you know, Stephen. Do you understand that? Because I made a new will, after I realized what a vile, perverted monster I married. I made a new will, in which I bequeathed everything through good hands to my stepsister, Jenny. <laughs> You didn't expect that, did you, Stephen? That I'd leave everything to that simpering idiot? I would spare you both in exchange for that will. You could go away, together, free. Don't believe him. Once he has obtained what he wants, he'll kill us just the same. How can you trust such a monster? Silence, you stupid pig! Well, do you agree? No. No! No! Everything to her stepsister, to that irresponsible idiot. So it's all been for nothing. You can't kill her now. You must let her live. I have no intention of doing so. Why do you think I have helped you? Just to pamper your jealousy and your twisted instincts? You are wrong. I wouldn't risk the gallows for so little. I want my share. You promised it to me. You must be the heir, and I along with you. And that is exactly what will happen. I shall not give up my revenge. You must not forget that Muriel alive would be too great a danger for me and for you. No. No one will ever discover how my wife died. And Jenny will inherit everything. But Jenny is mad, and that is a well-known fact. What can she do with all that money? Her place is in a lunatic asylum, while I... I shall discover the secret that man has been looking for since the beginning of time. And don't be afraid. You will get your reward. A reward that will be more precious to you than all the wealth in the world.
Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. Welcome to the Flamingo Hotel in Northern California's beautiful Sonoma County wine country. The hotel was built in 1957 to mirror the image of the original Vegas Flamingo design. It's always been the area's favorite resort because of its amenities and its strong connection to the glamour of Hollywood and Las Vegas. The Flamingo Conference Resort and Spa offers 170 guest rooms. It includes 14 suites and executive king accommodations. From all of us at the Flamingo Hotel, we thank you. I look forward to seeing you soon. Everyone will want to know how you began. The world is obsessed with origin stories. What's your story? A single ember from a wildfire can travel over a mile. You can't control where it will land, only what happens before it does. Visit fireadapted.org to learn how to protect your community from wildfires. watching North Bay TV, so stay tuned. And welcome back to the show. Miss Stewart had to step out for a quick moment, so we're going to now read all mail from you. What do we got, Livingston? First up, we've got a letter from John Ficari. We've heard from John before, haven't we? Yes, we have. Well, John, you got to stop writing to us because we have to read other people's mail too. But we'll do this one just this time. He says, hello again. Thank you for reading my letter on TV. Right, we did. It was on TV. I'm so sorry for misspelling Livingston and Tangella's names. Oh, is that what he did? I thought he was playing a joke last time. All right. I hope the show doesn't get canceled. The three of you do a great job. Have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. Well, thank you, John. We shall do that and you do the same. Next up, we've got a letter from, oh, this is a really long one from San Jose. You San Jose people, you're quite, quite wordy. He says, uh, this is from Jason. I assume this is a male Perhaps. or is it like the son of Jay? It's spelled J-A-Y-S-O-N. He goes, uh, Dear Creature Features, I absolutely love the show. See, he loves the show. She always tells me nobody likes the show, don't you? People like the, They like you. They don't like me and him. They like you. I absolutely love the show. You are doing a fantastic job of carrying on the legacy of Bob Wilkins. My only complaint is there is not enough Tangela. See, I told you. I love Vincent and Livingston, but have you ever considered giving Tangela her own segment? Perhaps some beauty tips or relationship advice? What does she think about this? Well, you like that plan? I think she would need her own segment on explosives and like things like that. She knows how to break things. If there was a show on how to break things, she could be like, you know, the expert host. Although it's, she wouldn't talk much. Uh, that's it. Thank you, Jason. And last up, last letter. What in God's name? Oh, look at this. So we got a, a note from somebody named Kyle B, age six. Dear Mr. Vince, I drawed this. Oh, he said drawed. I draw this of you. It's not a bad rendering, doesn't it? Look it's a good lovely. likeness, actually. It is a good likeness. And he even got the collar correctly. Well, thank you, Kyle. But it's too late for you. You should be in bed. 
You've got things to do tomorrow. You're too young to be up this late. That's it for letters. If you want to write us a letter, the address you would use is appearing down below. And if you don't want to write us a letter, you can give us a telephone call, but we don't have a phone number yet. We don't have wires out here, apparently. Why is that? I do not know, sir. Well, I suppose you could reach us on ham radio as well. Do we have one of those? No, we do not. All right. We'll be back in a few minutes with Miss Charlotte Stewart. Stay with us. Now you'll see. Now you'll feel what I felt. No! Leave her alone! Leave her alone! You beast, you! Girl, please! I can't stand it! Go away! Gurriel! Gurriel! You're home, Jenny. 
You didn't expect it to be so big. Hampton Castle is the largest in the county. I'm sure you'll feel at home here. And this is Solange. She will look after you and be useful to you in many ways. Welcome home, Miss Hampton. Miss Hampton? But she is my wife, the second Mrs. Arrowsmith. We were just married this very morning. Uh, I beg your... Yes, certainly. Come in, Mrs. Arrowsmith. What's the matter, dearest? Is something wrong? No. You forgot to carry me over the threshold. They say it brings good luck. Do you believe in that? Superstitions. It's better not to be superstitious in this house. Why? It's better, you know, never to be superstitious. This way, I'll lead you. What a peculiar plant. I've never seen one like it before. So fleshy, you mean? Yes. A rare plant. Nepente iridata. It is very dear to me. Now you can see how much you look like your stepsister. It's incredible. If it weren't for the hair, you'd say we were the same person. The dressing room is just in there. Thank you. I have a slight headache. I think I'll feel better if I take off my hat. You owe me an explanation, Stephen. What do you mean? Why did you marry her? We never spoke about it. What on earth is the matter, dear? Oh, what an unpleasant surprise for you. Don't worry, it's harmless. It disappeared from my laboratory a few days ago. I couldn't find it anywhere. It's come a long way. I promise you, it will never happen another time. I'll take it back to the laboratory. What do you intend to do with her? Why did you marry her? We had a different plan. Then... I thought she was a poor imbecile, ugly and repulsive. And instead, she is beautiful and reminds you of Muriel. You are still in love with that witch. As far as witches are concerned, you are no one to talk. Muriel, as you know, I hated her. And Jenny? Yes. I might even come to like her. So now we'll never get rid of Jenny again, as you promised me you would. I shall have to put up with another mistress. On the surface, Jenny seems normal, but her doctor told me that her sanity hangs by a thread and living here could easily snap it. It would not be difficult to find a doctor willing to testify regarding her condition, and then I shall be legally responsible for the custody of her person and wealth. This seems to me the best and surely the safest way out. But anything unexpected might possibly crop up. Who will guarantee to us that her mental condition will get worse? I'll see to that. Look here. May this be the first of many happy days.
you like it? Superb. You are wonderful. <laughs> no, stop. That chair. It's somewhat special. It could be dangerous. Oh, really? Why? It's a piece from the rather bizarre collection of your ancestors. I see. Experience your favorite horror, comedy, and science fiction films of the 70s, 80s, and 90s on the big screen with the cult film series at Roxy 14. Double features Thursdays at 7 p.m. Visit us on Facebook for more information. Vincent, this is Tangella, and we just want to remind you we've got a wonderful website. It's at creaturefeatures.tv, and at that location, we've got things like previous episodes, our merchandise, we've got photographs of the entire gang, including Tangella and her hideous friend. So be sure to come see our site. You'll love it. they don't make professional photographs like this anymore. I know. It's all digital. It is hard to find um, a color photograph anymore because everybody's got it on their phone. I, who wants it on your phone? I, yeah, I, I just I, thought I, you'd enjoy those. No, these are amazing. I'm going to show you these. Guy. We are with Miss Charlotte Stewart and uh, she's amazing. She brought these photographs. You have to tell us about these. Now this okay. one, I recognize this one. That is Miss Beetle. From that Little House on the Prairie. Beautiful. And this photograph, this must be a studio produced photograph. Um, it is. It, originally it was, yes. I ha I've had them, you know, copied since then. You can go online and get anything done. You had this done online? This is, it's all yes, silky. Yes, I did. Yeah, I know. I have not seen a silky yeah. photograph in years. And this one I recognize as well. See, if you recognize this one, viewers, we'll that do a close up. That is Major Briggs. Betty and Bobby Briggs from Twin Peaks. He was so terrible. Oh, I know. He was such a bad boy. In fact, I used this one year as a Christmas card, and it said, Happy Holidays from the Briggs family. Oh, what a wonderful and idea. it was such a big hit with the fans. They, and I had it made up, like, you know, real Christmas cards with an envelope right, and everything. Right. Oh, what a <laughs> fabulous idea. And it actually looks like an amateur photograph. Yeah. Well, we're very 
you know, posed. And right. Oh, and this one, we know this film, yeah. don't we? That's Eraser Head. What was the name of your character in that film? Uh, Mary X. And then when she Mary marries X. Him, yeah, Mary X. Like Her E-X last, or? No, X. One X. X. Mr. and Mrs. X had Mary yeah. X. And then she married Henry, so she was Mary X Spencer. Not the yeah. former Mrs. Spencer, but Mary X Spencer. Yeah, David Lynch has <laughs> a thing up. with names. Come on, keep up. David Lynch and the names. <laughs> I, what is what is up with him and these character names? He, he comes up with these fantastic characters. I don't names. know. It's so wonderful. And this one, everyone knows this one. Yeah, that was um, Tremors with Kevin Bacon. And, Does he uh, smell like bacon? <laughs> I mean, you were shooting in the desert, and we the were, man was probably sweating. We were, Does we he smell pretty, like bacon? We were pretty rank. You know, we were out there for the longest time. There were My like goodness, fourteen look, of us or something on the like back a, of a tractor. You look like a teenager. Look at this. That's amazing. So w with the giant worms, I mean, was that difficult dodging that um, hole? It, it was really, my favorite part is watching them do that because this was not um, animated. They didn't, you know, do all those animated monsters. Right, the whole These cartoon. were guys that were under the ground with their arms up these oh my goodness. huge worm things and, you know, actually moving them around. And you got to watch this? Oh yeah, for six weeks. My goodness. <laughs> we were in the desert for six weeks. Where, where did you shoot this? Oh, gosh, outside of L.A. So it's just someplace n near Vegas where they shoot right. all those films. Right? right. I think they did a Star Trek episode there as well, <laughs> the one where he's up on the rock, the famous rock. But you rock. know what happened while we were shooting? What? You know, this was back in 1991, I think, and there, the, one of the big Air Force planes that was a huge secret, that big... Oh, the uh, triangle-looking thing. We're out in the desert shooting, and this plane comes z flying by really low. They were doing tests. The stealth bomber. The stealth bomber. It came by. We weren't expecting it. It scared us to death because oh it just came out of nowhere. And it had not been announced or shown, <laughs> no, so you know. probably thought it was a giant. And they bat. didn't know we were there, so. <laughs> My goodness. All right. Well, when we come back from the break, we're okay. going to hear some more about your top secret intrusions into the U.S. government's okay. operations. But first, let's get back to Nightmare Castle. Okay. It, what's going to happen next? I don't know. It's, mm. But I think it's going to get better. It's got to. It hasn't been that great yet. <laughs> Stay with us.
calm yourself, dear. You've had a bad dream. It's nothing. It's all over now. Stephen? Where was I? That terrible place in that mask? It was a nightmare. Do you hear me? No, it wasn't a nightmare. I was there. And I saw blood. And that horrible plant. But I saw it here, the blood. But I tell you, I did see it. I'm not mad. Welcome to Hampton Castle, Dr. Joyce. Did you have a good journey? Yes, thank you. I'm very pleased to see you. And so I'm sure is my wife. How are you, Lady Arrowsmith? I must say you're looking extremely well. Oh, appearances can be deceptive, Doctor. However, I'm so pleased to see you again. What a lovely day. I didn't realize it. I hardly ever go out. Hampton Castle has become for me a sort of magnificent prison. Come. Let's take a stroll in the park. You know, there's a very strange, wild, rugged part behind the castle, which I'd like to show you. Jenny. But, dearest, the doctor has only just arrived, perhaps later on. It doesn't matter. Jenny, I would like to come. No, my husband's quite right. Napoleon, 1861. It's a wonderful brandy. Such a marvelous aroma. I thought you didn't drink. Many years ago, this castle may have lacked water, but it certainly never lacked alcohol. This was one of Muriel's very favorite drinks. Jenny, your husband has told me about everything that has recently happened here. You know, I am here only to help you. And uh, you must try and force yourself to remember the details of what happened to you. Something that will help us to understand the cause. I don't know. In those moments, it's as if another person took possession of my mind and my body and Everything becomes vague and confused without any reason. And yet, there must be a reason. When you came here, your mental condition was perfect. Therefore, the reason for your trouble must be sought in these surroundings. Jenny, do you... do you have any suspicions that your mind... No, I don't think so. You just saw blood where there wasn't any. And I heard sounds where there weren't any. And there was that tomb. And that... that name. David? Oh, yes, David. You said that name coming out of the nightmare. And that name could perhaps help you to remember your dream. Are you really convinced? Why are you so interested in me? Or maybe you're like Stephen, you're convinced I'm insane. If what you're suggesting were so, I would not be here. And I'm going to help you, whether you like it or not. There is nothing to discover. You won't discover anything, Doctor. I hope I'm not disturbing you, Doctor. And that things are already improving. Later, if you'd like to come down to my laboratory, I shall be pleased to show you some experiments I've made on the electrolytic treatment of the blood. <laughs> Why are you laughing, dear? You and your experiments. <laughs> Jenny, do you hear me? What's the matter with you? I'm sorry, Stephen. 
I was confused. This is your Mac. It's a good Mac. It does those things you like, the music that you love, and most importantly, the work that you do. Sadly though, sometimes it does this. Or this. Or this. But before you do this, try Tech Tool Pro, your one-stop fix-it tool to locate the source of this so that this still remains your things that you love, music that you enjoy, and important work that you do machine. Tech Tool Pro, the most advanced Macintosh repair utility ever. Horror dripping into your mind, like the seconds of a time bomb into a false reality. Yet you crave the creepiest, scariest moments of this realm. These are the chilling stories from the deepest corners of the internet. Join me, your host, Spooky Boo, at www.scarystorytime.com. Get scared. Some moms travel miles for a present. The Cash's mom traveled the country for her child's life. To St. Jude. Yep. Cash was diagnosed in California with a rare cancer. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital tailored a special treatment just for him. Our research helps save kids everywhere. Want to do lunch? Well, someone is feeling a lot better. Go to stjude.org or shop wherever you see the St. Jude logo. Hey, we're Quiet Riot here at the House of Rock in Santa Rosa, and you're watching North Bay TV, so stay tuned. Guests of the show stay at the Flamingo Conference Resort and Spa in Santa Rosa. You know, normally I don't get fun guests like you. <laughs> no, Thank I've, you. I, I've, I've had, they're all fun, but you know, most of the time they're just like, uh, let's talk about the movie. I don't want to talk about anything else. So thank you. Well, then oh. why do they come? Well, because they're an expert in a field and we think it works. Oh, okay. I love all our guests. Okay. Well, but it's nice shy. to have a fun one now <laughs> and then. So the movie, there's a bit of death involved in this film. I know, it which happens. ugly. Mm -hmm. And the whole thing with the hearts. Oh. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a late, we're on late, so, you know, it's not like there's children watching. Mm -hmm. And if there's children watching, go to bed <laughs> right now. So I wanted to ask you, what yep. was the favorite thing you've done? You, Acting, I mean, you mean? All these things, yes. You've, my, well, very, anything. my very, very favorite thing was the first job I ever had. I was hired to be Alice in Wonderland at Disneyland. The Alice. The Alice. I was the first at Alice. At the Disneyland. 1958. I was 17 years old. Did you just say you're the first Alice? I was the first Alice. Now, they had the Alice that, that you know, was on the rides that took your ticket, and they were all dressed in the uniform. That's not But the, I was the first one. You're the celebrity I walked around version. and got my picture taken. And, and during the Christmas parade that was televised for everybody in Los Angeles, my pony fit, my ponytail fell off into the street. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, right in the street. So the rabbit and I danced around and we, we swooped it up and I stuck it back on my head with the big black bow and we kept going. And there was no iPhones back then, so nobody no, has nobody footage of knew. this. I bet you somewhere in a box is an eight millimeter film of this tragedy. Could be. You had a wardrobe Could be. failure. I did. You had one of the first wardrobe failures in Hollywood, <laughs> I bet. On national television. It was on national television. Yeah, Walt Disney. Oh, it yeah, was. it was the Disney parade. Yeah. Oh, they, they were filming it for the show. No, they just, uh, it was live. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So there is no recording of this. No. So you know, have you ever thought about going back and seeing if you could do it again? What, Alice? Right. Uh, I think I'm a bit long in the tooth for that. You know, well, the story was written in the 1800s, right? So yeah, that's Alice true. Is no, I've got much more fun things to do. You do. And I cannot believe the, the things you do. It's, it's like you're, you're like the, the, the go-to gal of Hollywood. The who? The go-to gal. 
the like, go-to gal. Yeah. We need, well, I do we know need a lot like of people. like a woman to play this role. Mm -hmm. Let's call Charlotte. Okay. Yeah, they do that quite a lot. That's wonderful. But you you live in the Bay Area. I live in Napa now. Yes, That's and I'm a newlywed. So a newlywed? Yeah. Oh my God, you're a blushing bride. <laughs> you know, I was going to ask you about this ring, which I know uh -huh. is not your wedding ring, but this is impressive. This we is, need to get a close up of this. This is an owl made of watch parts. And if you know so anything about. So it's steampunk, about, right? Yeah, kind of. But the owl is. If you know anything about Twin Peaks, you know the owl knows. The owl knows. The owl knows all. That's why they call them wise, mm -hmm. old owls. All right. Well, let's get back to this film because okay. we got to see what happens. Something, something better. Did they has to die happen. already? Well, they were killed. Oh. So far, we'll see. Okay. All right. Stay with us. We'll be back after the break. Doctor, if I can help you, don't hesitate to ask me. Even though I assure you, I have already told you as much as I know. Thank you. I'll come to see your laboratory later. Lovely, delicate flowers. Not at all like those horrible, revolting flowers in the greenhouse. In the greenhouse? Do you often go in there? Yes, I've been there. I was there the night I... Come with me. Let's go. Tell me now. You must remember. You dreamt you were here. Didn't you? I don't know. I don't remember. Don't torment me, please. Let me leave this place. Well, if you don't want me to help you, however I warn you, you will end up a prisoner of your madness and obsessions forever. I don't know. I can't remember. I think I was standing there where you are now. David was embracing me. Suddenly he was hit on the face. My earring fell off, down in those leaves. I'm sure we will find it. I lost it while he was kissing me. Who was kissing you? I don't remember. It was dark. And then somebody came in while we were... seen the earring before? No. Only that time. But uh, are you sure you couldn't have lost it on some other occasion? Or under different circumstances? No, it's the first time I've ever seen it. The earring doesn't belong to me. It's very strange.
Are you sure it will work? Wouldn't poison have been a safer way? There isn't a poison which leaves no traces. In this way, we don't run any risks, and the result is the same. Come in. Did you call, sir? Yes, Jonathan. I think it's about time for my evening bath. It will be ready in just a moment, sir. Thank you, Jonathan. Ready, Jonathan? All ready, sir. Will you be needing anything else, sir? No. Come in. Excuse me, sir. I forgot about the clean towel. Oh, that's all right. Jonathan, what happened? Jonathan! What happened, Jonathan? Welcome to the Flamingo Hotel in Northern California's beautiful Sonoma County wine country. The hotel was built in 1957 to mirror the image of the original Vegas Flamingo design. It's always been the area's favorite resort because of its amenities and its strong connection to the glamour of Hollywood and Las Vegas. The Flamingo Conference Resort and Spa offers 170 guest rooms. It includes 14 suites and executive king accommodations. From all of us at the Flamingo Hotel, we thank you and look forward to seeing you soon. Everyone will want to know how you began. The world is obsessed with origin stories. What's your story? You sure you don't want some? It's chamomile. Listen, you are extremely terrifying. Just the scariest undead subhuman thing on TV, and I really mean that. <laughs> but I am worried that you could give my kids nightmares if they see you, so I'm gonna have to block you. <laughs> So that's it. Oh, and, and tell the zombies they're, they're blocked too. It's walking time! Theory one, pink! Hi, I'm Catherine Sutherland from Power Rangers and you're watching North Bay TV. Stay tuned. Go, go, Power Rangers! 
portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. There's no doubt he had a heart attack. Probably he suffered from a weak heart without knowing it. Quite possibly. Also, the overheated atmosphere of the room could easily have had some influence. Please, Jenny, go back to your room. Solange, go with her ladyship. This one is certainly a case that makes one think very seriously about the frailty of human life. Only 10 minutes ago, that man was the picture of health, and now he is ready for the worm. Please allow me not to appreciate your cynicism, Dr. Aversmith. Forgive me, my dear Derek. The fact is, you have remained too much a man to be a scientist. Oh, and before I forget, will you think about making out a death certificate for the authorities? Right Something else if you don't mind. Will you help me to carry poor Jonathan's body into his room? Ah. Is there anything else I can get you, madame? No. All I want to do is leave this house before it's too late. There. Forgive me, Doctor. I'm afraid I've asked you to perform a rather unpleasant task. Uh, we can go now. It will probably seem very silly to you, but I would like to leave a little light for him. Go ahead. I'll see you later. says she wants to go away at once. On the contrary, she won't go anywhere. Of that I can assure you, everything will turn out exactly as we want it. Go along now, it's he. Certainly. This journey can do you nothing but good. You'll be able to amuse yourself, to breathe purer air, to find real tranquility. But I cannot pretend that I shouldn't have preferred another solution. Do you mean the asylum, Dr. Derrick? Or have you other plans? But, Jenny, why are you saying these things? It seems as if you had suddenly lost all faith in me. Perhaps you see me as some clinical case to be kept under observation and studied. It will be bad enough if that's true, yet in a way I wish it was so. Because if what happened last night has put any ideas in your head, I'll be obliged to consider you simply one of the most contemptible of men. I realize that after what you have said, there's nothing I can answer. Whatever I might say would only confirm your suspicions. Now the only thing left for me to do is to go away. But before I go, I want to tell you this, Jenny. I have always been very fond of you. And any time you need me, I shall be happy to help you.
Experience your favorite horror, comedy, and science fiction films of the 70s, 80s, and 90s on the big screen with the cult film series at Roxy 14. Double features Thursdays at 7 p.m. Visit us on Facebook for more information. Me hearties, I'm Crazy Boots Martin and James the Red at the NorCal Pirates Festival, and you're watching North Bay TV. Stay tuned. <laughs> you know, the green ring is lovely as well. Thank you. Those are gorgeous. opals from Australia. Opals from Australia. We are with Charlotte Stewart and her opals from Australia. <laughs> you know, with all the acting you've done, you've probably been all over the world. I, you'd think I traveled more than I did, but the most, the most traveling I do is for fan clubs. Oh, really? Michael and I were invited to France last summer for the Little House on the Prairie fans. And uh, I'll be doing the Cherry Blossom Festival in um, Marshfield, Wisconsin. Is that oh, where it how is? Oh, wonderful. Um, yeah, I get invited to wonderful places. Yeah. So what are some of the countries you've been to in, in doing these things? <laughs> um, England and France, and that's about it. How's your French? <laughs> terrible. Well, I know your Absolutely English is perfect. Terrible. Yeah. No, I could speak some French, just enough to get me into trouble. Moi? Moi aussi. That's about it. Okay. I You'll could, get far with that. No, I, I, I know how to find the pubs and the bathroom, mm -hmm. but not necessarily in that order. I walked into the men's room in the Paris train station because That's not I, a good thing to do. Well, no, it's Even not. Even for a man. <laughs> it's I not. I thought I was going into the ladies' room. They were side by side. It was a line... Uh, and I, I was, we were late and I was trying to, you know, watch my bags. I'll just run in here. And I just ran through and all of a sudden there's all these men in there <laughs> and I, you know, I think ran that right out again, probably the most embarrassing thing one can do. I, I, I did the exact same thing opposite once I went into a lady's room. There was no one in there. Right. And I, I didn't realize it was a ladies room. I used the loo. And as I'm walking out, there's a woman walking in. She gives me a look and I'm here. Oh, you're in the wrong restroom. <laughs> I look in the door and it was a ladies room. Oh, man. It's, these things happen. It was probably in French and you didn't read it. Now this is happening here in the US. Yeah. So you were telling me about Hawaii Five-O during the break. Yes. And how yeah. you filmed actually in Hawaii. I Not was thrilled. I was thrilled. LA. Yeah, um, I was shooting an episode and I was playing a drug addict on the run and I tripped and fell. I was supposed to be running behind the camera car and got up and ran another half a block and they said, well, we can't use that. Too many people are looking at the filming. So they put me in a car. They drove me a couple blocks over and I got out and I ran again behind the car. And that night, you know, I was going, wow, that hurts. So they sent me to the the hospital, which was right next door to the hotel, to get an x-ray. The doctor gave me my x-ray, said, take it back to your doctor who was in the hotel. I took it back and he said, oh, you've broken your kneecap. Oh my goodness. For I Hawaii said, Five What? They made me walk from the hospital to the hotel with a broken kneecap? Does that sound? That sounds that's atrocious. That's wrong. So I had a cast from my ankle to my hip for the rest of the shoot, and they had to find a double for me to walk away from the camera. So you were sitting the rest of the time? Uh, I was standing a lot. They had to... With something in front of you. Yeah. Right. They do that in Hollywood sometimes. They, now they make dead people come back. They what? They make dead people come back. Who makes dead people come well, back? Well, like in the last Star Wars. They had... Oh. Uh, <laughs> who is it? it? What was his name? Governor Talkin? <laughs> Peter Cushing. It's yeah, like they I just know, made they his face. It's like, yeah. hey, let's, let's take a computer and do this thing. So maybe they'll do that for me someday, and I won't have to do the show anymore. They can just put your they'll face in. They'll just digitize in me. I enjoy mm -hmm. doing it, though. It's fun. Yeah. All right, what do you say we watch uh, the end of this movie? 
so soon? Get it over really? with. It's okay. time. It's time okay, to make it go away. Okay, let me settle in. All right. Well, you stay with us, Miss Charlotte, and you stay with us, and we shall be right back after a break or two. I don't know. It's so cold tonight. That damn blood. It's turning to poison in my veins. Cold, heavy, like mercury. She wants it back. Muriel, that witch, she wants her blood. Stephen, do something. Save me. I need new life. Young, pure blood. I need Jenny's blood. Very well, then. You'll get it tomorrow. <laughs> Who are you? Muriel? Muriel! 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 Where is your body? My heart. Oh, take my heart. Oh, take, take my heart. My heart. Oh, no. oh. Who killed you, Stephen?
Well, have a good journey, and thank you again for everything you've done for my wife. Oh, there is nothing to thank me for. And uh, would you please say goodbye to her for me? Goodbye, Derek. I'm grateful to you for trying to help me. Oh, I'm delighted to be able to wish you a pleasant trip once more. And I hope to see you again very soon. Why are you going? Don't you find enough to interest you here? Do you like the Hampton Crest? Goodbye and good luck. When? Now, Stephen, I beg you. We must be far from here before he is able to speak to anybody. I am preparing the electrolysis. You know that it's only a matter of a few hours. Everything will be ready for you by this oh. evening. And then we'll leave during the night, all three of us. At least officially. I'm going down to the laboratory. Stephen, I wonder if... Come along. There's no time to lose. I'm going to free you from your nightmares forever, Jenny. Your sister is calling you, isn't she? Can't you hear her? Now that damned voice will be silenced forever! <laughs> Miserable Hampton Ricks, your race is Shut finished! Up, Stephen! I can't stand it! <laughs> you will sleep now. A long sleep. That will be without any oh, more God. dreams. What are Peace, to do? Jenny. Come along now, lie down. As men tied to the earth, we dream of visiting the stars. As men tied to the stars, we will dream. This is your Mac. It's a good Mac. It does those things you like, the music that you love, and most importantly, the work that you do. Sadly though, sometimes it does this. Or this. Or this. But before you do this, 
Tritech Tool Pro, your one-stop fix-it tool to locate the source of this so that this still remains your things that you love, music that you enjoy, and important work that you do machine. Tech Tool Pro, the most advanced Macintosh repair utility ever. Horror dripping into your mind, like the seconds of a time bomb into a false reality. Yet you crave the creepiest, scariest moments of this realm. These are the chilling stories from the deepest corners of the internet. Join me, your host, Spooky Boo, at www.scarystorytime.com. Get scared. We'll still take a couple of hours. I'm going up to prepare everything for the journey. You stay still.
Steven. Yes, Stephen. It's my flesh you're touching. The flesh you thought you'd destroyed. But you can't destroy flesh any more than you can love or hate. It's all the same thing. What do you want? I punished you for your crime. No. You gave me extreme pleasure. You taught me the pleasure of the torment of the flesh, which turns into ecstasy. Yes, Stephen, that passes through life into death and receives eternity. Now I'm going to reward you with that same pleasure. Come, darling. Stephen. Stephen. Don't be afraid, Stephen. I'll stay with you with my body and my senses until someone comes and destroys my heart.
Don't worry, Jenny. Now all of your nightmares are over and done with forever. So, death by burning in the chair. And they look like these chairs. I yeah, mean, that, was, know, that was bad. You don't know how difficult it is to mm -hmm. sit in a chair like that and watch a man burn to death in a chair like this. Good movie. I won't watch it again. I will read your book, though. I love this. And look, she, she autographed it just for me. Where did that go? It's in here somewhere. Oh, I it. oh it's right here. Look. Yeah. Autographed to me, and it's called Little House in the Hollywood Hills. A Bad Girl's Guide to Becoming Miss Beetle, Mary X, and Me. And this is it's just filled with so much trivia and photographs. And there's some, <laughs> like, famous, famous people in here. It's oh, like, you found the one with Jim Morrison. I, I like Jim Morrison. He's dead, isn't he? Yes, he is. That's too bad. And, you know, he's buried in France. Yes, You're I speaking know. Speaking of France. I, I've been to his grave. Really? In fact, no, my, my great, 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 great grandfather is buried in the same one. It's in, uh, Wow. what's the famous place where they did the film Amelie? I don't know. I don't remember either. Cordeline? I think it's Cordeline. It's a Cordeline cemetery. I know the that there's one. always tons of fans around, you know, I know. trying to uh, and they saw, they, they get place soil things, or something, like you know. Obnoxious things. This is a fantastic book. I look forward to reading this. Good. Now, you did this book, and this book is available. We're going to give some information on how to find uh -huh. the book. But uh, this you can is... order it on Amazon. Oh, it's on Amazon. It's on Amazon. So if you're in the Amazon and you need a book, you can find this book. <laughs> or you can go to the company Amazon. And, and you can go well. to audible.com and I've narrated it myself. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did my own book. Uh, and just ask for the Audible version. How you can many, download it right how to How many your phone. discs? No, no discs. It's all Audible. It's, um, oh, it's on electric. your phone. Oh, so you could just like... You just listen to you it. You pick up the phone like you're speaking to Charlotte mm -hmm. in person, and she's going to read you her story. Yeah. So you've also got this other thing going on. It's I do. Charitable. I'm a cancer survivor. Oh, um, good. And I raise money by making these tote bags. This happens to be one with Little House on the Prairie on oh, the front. Oh, let me see. Let me but see. But I do them for Twin Peaks. Oh, this is I do them for almost, you know. It's quality material. I make them all myself, yeah. It's it's not like these terrible bags they sell you at Vons. Oh no, this is this is quality. It really is, and I'm not just saying it because no, I do it, it but no, no, I enjoy doing it. You, now you make these by hand. I make those by hand. Well, I mean, I have a sewing machine, but yeah, I make them all myself. Yeah, that's incredible. How yeah. do you do all this? I raise you... money for a cancer program in Napa called the Wellness Center, and it helps people who have gone through surgery and chemo and radiation and all those horrible things. It helps people get back on their feet. So someone could buy your book yep. and place it in the bag that they purchased they from you. And, and give it to their mother for Christmas. They are getting entertainment and they're helping a worthy cause. Yep. And if you grow grocery shopping, you can take this as well. You know they've made bags illegal here in California? I know, just plastic bags. I know, but these, these are wonderful. I'd rather use this than a plastic bag. Would you like that one? I would love this one. Well, it's yours. Oh, my goodness. You know, Tangela's going to steal it from me. You have oh, not seen her no. yet, have you? Oh, she's, she's a pest. But uh, no, I shall hide it, and I'm going <laughs> to pull it out when I use it. Well, that is absolutely fantastic. So to learn more about you, we can go to Facebook. You can go to Facebook. You can, I can friend you, you know, just ask to be my friend. All I have to do is go, yes. Oh, she's so friendly. That's what I like about Facebook. It's it's like making friends mm -hmm. and making it new is. friends. And then we can get these things and we can learn more about you and see what you're doing next. So Right. All right, we're going to we're going to put up the ad address for that on uh, Creature Features or Facebook page. We have one as well. And uh, we'll probably put it on our website as well. So Great. Thank you so much. No, thank you. 
we are blessed and honored with your appearance here, and we hope you'll come back again. I will. You're so close to us, mm -hmm. and you could probably tell us everything about Twin Peaks, at least what you're allowed to tell us. <laughs> They'd fire me if I did that. We do not want that to occur at all. Mm -mm. All right, well, thank you, Miss Stewart, and hope to see you again soon. Thank you. And that brings down the curtain for this episode of Creature Features. We hope you'll join us next week when we have uh, somebody not quite of this caliber on the show but we'll probably have somebody entertaining so at least you'll have fun and we'll have fun and we always seem to have a little bit of fun join us again so miss charlotte stewart yep. i'm thinking right if they were to come back with a new little house on the prairie mm. right i mean i think you could still do the teacher right absolutely i mean Perfect. Miss Beetle, I'm right, waiting to do Ms. it. Miss Beetle. So, but I'm thinking maybe I could play Paul. 